Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will discuss about the wireless assumptions, how to perform the test regarding wireless assumptions, and in this case, we are using e views to test the results regarding wireless assumptions and the four tests we are going to run here in this session are multipolarity, autocorrelation, heterospecificity, and model specification. To do that, first I'm going to upload the data on it. Let me upload the data. Here is my data. I just have to click on the first mention to check that we have the time that series data and now here are the data file, the work file for my data. In this case I have a oil price as my dependent variable and these two are my independent variables. And the C is the constant. The first test we are going to perform here is autocorrelation. To do that, first we have to estimate the equation. And first to estimate the equation, there are different ways to estimate the equation, but I'm going to do it first like dependent variable, then constant, and then independent variable. Control C to copy it, then we go on quick. Estimate equation and control me. You can write this as well, but I, in a short, like in a shortcut way, I just copy and paste here. The first one is dependent, then the constant, and then these two are the independent variables. Next thing we have to do on click OK, and here are the results regarding this equation. Progression results you can see. And in this regression result, you can see, see that there is a durban watson test. This value is used to use for autocorrelation analysis, and the durban watson value range is 0 to 4. 0 to 4 is the range for this 0 to 4, and 0 means Zero is uh, perfect, positive, and the four is perfect, negative, and at two, no, also. Nation. So we have the range here, right? And we got the value here is 0 0.083, which is closer to zero. This indicates that this model has a positive autocorrelation, a very strong positive autocorrelation. Not a perfect, but in a, it's a strong positive autocorrelation. The next step we have to perform is heteroscedicity. The null hypothesis for the heteroscedicity is that no heteroscedicity or homoscedicity. And the alternate hypothesis, uh, hypothesis is heteroscedicity. If the probability value of this test is greater than 0 0.05, then the null hypothesis will be accepted. If it is lower than 0 0.05, then the null hypothesis will be rejected. So let's see how we can perform this test. We have estimated the equation in the same window. We will go for residual, residual diagnostic. And here we can see a hyperstatistic test. Just click on it. And in this case, in this case, we are going to use Bosch parent Godfrey test. And you can see there is our regressors based on 
isomeric equation, the three copy, and here are the results. In this case, we can see that there is a four chi square zero 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 zero, which is less than zero point zero five. So we can say that here we reject null hypothesis as the probability value is less than zero point zero five. That means there is a heterostatistic. The next test we have is a multipolarity. To do that, we will have like the same uh, go go on to function diagnostic, and then we will go to VIF. VIF is the variance inflation factor. We will take it. Okay. Uh, the null hypothesis for this is uh, no multicolonality and the uh, alternate hypothesis for this is multicolonality. If the VIS is less than 2, there is no multicolonality. But that means we will accept as not that there is no multicolonality. Null hypothesis will be accepted. The next case is the model specification in that case we will check either our, val our, our variables are representing our model or not or what's the model specification. So to do that we will go to in the same window in the view, stability diagnostics and we, in this case we are using one way reset test. We will click here, we will remain it will remain default one and click OK. Then here are the results. The null hypothesis is that no variable is uh, excluded, uh, and uh, and the alternate hypothesis is excluded variables. Means the variables we didn't uh, include or, or uh, like the variable has to be included in our model but we didn't include it that. So in this case, we will check the S statistic value, the probability value, and the null hypothesis will be accepted if the P is greater than 0 0.05. And in this case, we see that the probability value is less than 0 0.05. That means, the null hypothesis will be rejected and we can see that the variables are not sufficiently representing the model. In this video, we have discussed the four tests, multiplanarity, autocorrelation, heterospecificity, model specification, and how to run these four tests on EVUs using a method of heteroscoricity through a Bosch pattern, multicolonarity through VIS, and model specification through run zero reset, and autocorrelation through Devon Watson value. I believe that this review will be good for you. If you like it, a uh, small effort from my side, just like it, share it, and subscribe it. Thank you very much.